Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisoloati. I'm an excellent five-year enthusiast with decades of business experience. Have you ever experienced a situation where you want to format a sale differently depending on a criteria? For example, if prices are less than $1, you want them rounded to three decimal places with lighter green color. And if prices are greater than $1, then you want them rounded to two decimal places with darker green color. Today, I want to show you how we can perform dynamic rounding and formatting based on a given criteria. And here are our rounding criteria. If the prices, which is in this column, is less than a dollar, then we want to round them to the nearest one cent. If not, in other words, if they're greater than a dollar, then we want to round them to the nearest one dollar. And you can see the outcome in this column. As you can see, for prices which is less than a dollar in this column, it has been rounded to the nearest one cent, and anything greater than a dollar has been rounded to the nearest dollar, as you can see. And if we change it in this column, let me just change it to $11, for example, you can see the outcome changed dynamically. And if we change it back to say 50 cents, or oh, that's $50, not 50 cents, Look at that, that changes. How do we do this? I'm going to show you in this video. All right, step one, let's set up dynamic rounding. We're going to type equal M round, open bracket. We're going to round this number and then put comma. What are we rounding it to? To the nearest one cent. That's what we need to enter as a second input. And then after that, just make sure you press F4, which will add dollar dollar, and then add one dollar sign in front of column B, click tick. And the reason we want to do that is so that we can copy to the right later on. But for now, we're just going to copy down. And as you can see, everything is now rounded to the nearest cent, which is 0 0.01. But we don't want everything to be rounded to the nearest cent. We only want to round to the nearest cent if the value of the price is less than a dollar, which means we have to add an if statement. So I'm going to say if, open bracket, if that price is less than or equal to that one dollar, then do the rounding. If not, put comma, TBC, and then close the bracket. And you're going to see something later on. Yeah. But before we do that, let's just add the dollar sign next to B so that we can drag to the right later and press F4 one more time so that we can add two dollar sign quickly. And then let's just test. And look at this. Now, when the value of the price is greater than a dollar, we get TBC. Why? Because that's what we have written in the if statement. Next, let's replace the TBC with another round formula. So copy the first bit of the M round, control C, and then replace the TBC. And we're going to say if it's greater than a dollar, don't round to the nearest one cent, but instead round to the nearest one dollar, which is what's being specified in here. And voila, watch this double click now that has been linked to that other yellow cell yeah so now we have a dynamically set up file such that if we change the rounding criteria for example if i want to round to the nearest five dollars look at that it's now rounding to the nearest five dollar if i want to round it to say for example nearest 10 cents it does that as well. So it is now dynamically set up. Whatever things that we change in these yellow cells, it will drive the rounding. Now I'm going to change it back to one so that we are back to original. Okay, now let's compare this spreadsheet with our previous example. Now that is nicely formatted with dollar sign. How do we do that? Very simple, just highlight click that dollar sign and then if you want to you can increase the decimal place so that you get to see three decimal places if not you can reduce it and let it only show two decimal places 
Next, we are going to work on the dynamic formatting. How do we set things up so that when it's rounded to the nearest cent, it is in light green, and when it's rounded to the nearest dollar, it is in darker green. How do we do that? Let me show you. First, we are going to do it in this column, column F. So I'm going to start by saying equal to column D and then drag it down. That's going to be our starting point. All right, next, how to set up dynamic formatting for this column. Click conditional formatting, click new rule, and then select a rule type, which is use formula to determine which cell to format. And then click this, the rule description, format values where this formula is true. What formula? We're going to say if that cell B10 is less than or equal to cell C5. Yeah. When that criteria is true, we want the formatting, let's change the fill to be light green, and then hit OK. And then hit OK one more time. Look at that. Now let's test this. So if we enter $50, look at that, that's not green. But when it's 50 cents, that's now light green. After that, let's go to conditional formatting again, add a new rule, select the same rule type, which is use formula to determine which cell to format. And then in here, we're going to say, if cell B10 is greater than one, then the format that we want is darker green. And then hit OK. And then let's check one more time, change it to $50, and look at that. That's now dynamically set up, okay? Now return it back to $0.50, cents, and then we want to copy that to the rest of the cells in here. How do we do that? Hit the Format Painter, and then do that. Oh, why is that not working? Check one more time, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and let's just look at this. Click our formula that is supposed to be applied when dark green color is to be applied. So hit edit rules and then the problem is cell B10 is currently entered with dollar dollar. So what we need to do is we need to delete one of the dollar so that it's only the B column which is frozen so that when we copy format down, it will reference B11, B12, etc. And then hit OK and then hit apply and look at that. Everything is now fixed. So change this to say, for example, one cent and look at that. All done. Undo and that's back. Alrighty. We have now reached the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoy it and find it useful and see you next time.